Yes. So what is the thing with the beings here? The beings here do not know that they are a being. Right. Like they never take the time to find out that they are a being. Do they? No, they don't. So there are two things. Whether beings have to look into the fact that whether they exist or not. Like exist in the sense like they are they are in a body mm -hmm. and they are here so they exist so they are a being and yes. the second thing for them is if they are a being if they come to that they are a being where are they? where are they? so the simple thing is that if any being is, even spends 5 minutes mm. and goes out there mm. they will find out that they exist within something, that they are within something. Yes. But, but, the, but the thing with the beings is that they don't think in terms of that they are inside something. They more think in terms of they are in, in this village or in this town or in this mm. city or in this country. Mm, that's true. That's what they think in terms of, like they are in this. They don't think they are inside of something. Mm. Something bigger. Yeah, they're standing in a country or a village or a town or a city. That's how beings. So, mm -hmm. what happens from that is that they end up following the rules and the laws of that town, city, mm. village, or country. Yes, whatever. Which are man made laws. Themselves. So, yes, they're never considering mm -hmm. that they are actually inside of this thing. Very big thing. If you just go out even. Mm. You'll come to know it's a big thing. Mm. Like you are inside of something. Something. And yeah. you can call it anything. You can call it universe. You can call it multiverse. You can call it omniverse. Yes. But you are inside of something, right? Yes. Now, if you are a being, if you establish that, mm. it will take take not very long to establish that <laughs> that you are a being, yes. and that you exist, yes. and then you exist inside of something, right? Yes. Now that something, whether that something has laws. Or not? That's the yes. next question which will arise automatically. Yes. Very logical question. Yes. Yeah. So, but the beings only thinks of, think in terms of that they are in a town or village or country. So, they only pay attention to the man-made laws. It comes easy to people. Yes. So, if they are in America, they will drive on the right side. If they are in England, they drive on the left on side. The left side. Yes. So, these kind of things come easy to people because they pay attention to the laws. Which are the man-made laws. Yeah, which are the man-made laws. Not the universal, multiverse, multiversal laws. Yes. They're yes. paying no attention. No. To that kind of thing at all. Never occurs to them. Because they don't even take the five minutes <laughs> to establish <laughs> that they are inside something. That's true. Which is quite an evident thing that you are inside something. Yes. They always maximum go to the point that, okay, I live in this village in this particular country. That's yes. all. Yes. This country has its laws and they see people around them and they see how, what people, how behave, what rules they follow, what mm -hmm. that thing and they just base their whole life on the basis of that. That's true, they don't know about But they that. never bother to find out what find out about. the multiversal laws are wow. because they don't even give themselves the time or the consciousness to come into them that they are inside of something. That's true. Yeah. They don't. They, they, they don't, don't even spend there. five minutes mm -hmm. out of their mm -hmm. lives to even get that <laughs> sense that they are a being and they are inside something. Yes. Now when you are inside something, yeah, then that something is something. So whatever that something is has to have a basis. Mm -hmm. And that basis would be laws. Yes. Yeah. So unless you know the laws of what you are inside, you will always be in trouble. You will always be in trouble. Yeah. You don't know what yeah. to go by. Yeah, just like if you go to a country and you don't know its laws, yeah. and you, if you break them continuously, then you'll you end trouble. up in jail. Yeah. You'll end up in jail. You know, like, the same way. Like, if, you, if there are multiversal laws, yeah, and they'll... and you keep on breaking them because you know, we bother to find them out, then you'll be in much more bigger trouble. Because finally, 
you are inside the multiverse you are inside that big thing and that's what matters much more than being in any country or village or city or anything you know those laws are primary laws they are the primary these man made law man made laws can change from one second to another but the multiversal laws are permanent they've always been there and they will always be there and if as a being you're not trying to find that out you're not trying to find out anything and any being which doesn't do this basic thing they 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 don't establish that they are a being and they exist and on top of that they exist inside of something and what is the basis the law of that something are basically in a very problematic situation and that's what you find most of the beings in this world right now to be in they are in this problematic situation yeah and then if you don't know the laws and that thing then you'll be taken for a ride and that's why you'll be under the whatever systems unnatural unjust systems which people find themselves under right now i mean that will be the case and you know nobody else to blame for it but yourself because you didn't bother to find out where you are and what are the laws yeah, so magical yeah it's a very simple thing mm. so beings out there are always doing actions on the basis of the laws of society government or whatever they are in that's the maximum law they look up to or act by right and as long as they don't get into trouble by following those rules and laws they think they're doing fine <laughs> or right. but they never doing fine from any of that at all for example if you are like eating meat out here you go and to a that thing supermarket and buy meat and eat it i mean obviously there is no penalty for it you know no police is going to come you and arrest you hey you bought meat from the supermarket like you know like just say and it was of an animal which was killed in a very painful way or it was killed in an abattoir in a very bad way and it was screaming and all of that right yeah like no harm by the system like the system of this government or whatever you living under no harm will come to you from that but again multiverse laws are different for the same action the, the judgment of the multiverse will be very different as per multiverse laws then of these governments of these government laws which whose laws are not based on any multiverse law they are ad hoc willingly law, laws mm-hmm. which allow beings to do like break the multiverse law every day of their lives without ever putting them in jail for it right in fact m- most of the whole system and law is designed uh in a way where you will go around breaking multiverse laws because if you keep on breaking multiverse laws you will keep on losing strength and power and the weaker you are the easier you are to control i mean the thing is very clear like if a being does not want to find about about multiverse laws any being it can be any being that being will go to hell and by hell i mean pain and torture it will be subject to pain and torture because hell is pain and torture there's nothing else it's like a hell is not a like a far away thing which you go to after death like it's pain and torture and like it happens right now on earth what yeah. and people can like face that people have to face that so many times whether they see others facing it it happens to themselves to their relatives to the family members or whatever 
but they have to face that all the time. Yeah. And even if that doesn't give them the sense that something is amiss here, that like we are doing something wrong, that something is wrong here, then they will go. They will have to experience deeper hells and more that thing until they start questioning this thing. That what is actually going on? Yeah, like there's a lot of people on this planet which keep on screaming and stuff like that. You know, like uh, why is this happening to me? What's going on? What? Like they think they are like somehow special in their suffering or like. Like something strange is happening to them, something unwarranted, and all of these stupid mindsets only come from the fact that they have never bothered to find out about multiversal laws. They have never, like, looked into the f like that thing that there is such a thing called a multiversal law. Mm. In fact, like they don't even admit to the fact that they are inside something, that they they are a being existing inside something which even if you step out of your house and if you look around the sky for five minutes you can come to that conclusion that you are inside something yeah. if you can call it the sky you can call it the firmament you can call it the universe multiverse anything you want to call it you can call it anything yes, absolutely. Yeah. you can call it the 3d realm which you can perceive and then the other realms which you can't perceive which you can't see from the eyes but you are inside of something that is very clear that you are inside something. Yeah. And what you are inside of, if you don't know the laws of, like, you are in trouble. For example, like if a being was transferred, transferred to another plane, another planet, just right in this instant, and they were transported to some other planet, then if they don't know what the laws are out there or what is the situation, where they are at, they will be in trouble. Immediately. What to eat, what not to eat out there. Well, like they, if they don't know anything about that, then the, they can go and eat something just because they feel hungry. They can go eat some plant or something, and they, that might be poisonous. So they fall sick yes. and be in pain for days. Yes. Like so, again, like the same way. Like like if you are inside something and you don't bother to find out the laws of that thing you are inside, because what you are inside is a very big thing. It's not just a country you are inside. You're not inside a country. You are just standing in a man-made region. Country is a man-made concept. Yes. The village is a man-made concept. City is a man-made man -made concept. That's not what you're inside of. That's true. Yeah. You are inside of a much bigger construct. You can call it the matrix. You can call it the planet. You can call it the realm. You can call it anything. Yeah. But as a whole, you can call it universe, multiverse, anything. Omniverse. Anything. But you are inside of, you're inside of something. And if you don't know the rules of it, you are in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Big time. And, and none of these uh, governments or anything can save you from this trouble. What? Like, like for example, if you eat some uh, like poisonous food, you will get to that thing. Mm. And you will experience pain and you will experience all of that thing. No government can come save you from that. You know. Mm. Like, when you die, you will still be inside of this thing. It won't end, like, whether you, have, you have, whether you have a physical body or not, your being will still exist and it will still be inside some this thing. And again, your governments will not be able to come and help you out there. No. All the man-made laws will be of no use. Of no use. Yeah. Even out here, when so many things happen, like even the insurance companies say, that is an act of God. We can't insure you against that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, which means basically that there are laws which are above man-made laws. Very true. Yeah. But those laws, nobody out here, I see very few people even trying to find out what those laws are. At all. And like some people who are even like that thing. They just like who just start trying to find this kind of thing out. 
they just get to some book or something whatever and they'll read five ten commandments from it and they think that's it that's the what the laws are they were very superficial that thing take on that whole thing they they don't they don't think that there's anything that they, they need to go into it this deeply mm. what medical laws actually are yeah. even if people do a study of it it's a very superficial study and it ends very quickly and they don't really come to know anything about them except some dogmas morals or dogmas mm. yeah. which are not anything to do with actual real multiversal force laws mm-hmm. and most of the people obviously they just plunge into action in this world without bothering to find anything at all at all anything at all they are so convinced of their knowing that they know what to do without even knowing that they are inside something which is a bizarre concept in the first place I mean, it should not be very hard to figure out that you are a being and that you exist. No. It's quite a self-evident thing. Yes. And it should not be that tough to find out that as a being, you exist inside of something. You're surrounded on all sides by something. Whether it's bottom, top, all around all sides, you are inside something. Even a very cursory look. can tell you that yeah. and when if you inside something that what that something is governed by what is the basis of that something because everything has to have some basis like just like if you see around you the sun and moon they all go around in actual pretty lawful ways they they're following patterns they going by very clear motions and everything so everything which exists has to have a basis if it didn't have a basis it would just collapse well, yeah immediately if something didn't have a basis it would just immediately collapse like it, it can't like hold itself up without any basis mm-hmm. and that basis is what you call laws so what you are inside of if you don't want bother to find out those laws i mean there is nothing which you can do right from that point yeah. no action of yours can be a right action like it's like worse than being completely blind and deaf and mute and everything like i mean even normal people they can all everybody can sort of understand that if a being doesn't know the laws of any country and that thing it goes there and starts behaving in that it'll be a comedy movie everybody would be laughing at that movie and that being will be getting into all kinds of trouble out there Yeah, so everybody understands what happens when you don't know the laws. Yeah. Then, but but that's that's why it's a such a funny surprise that they don't bother bother to find out about the laws of the universe, multiverse they exist in. Yeah. There's just no attempt at all to find out about that. When people are always like coming to know about the laws of the country they're living in and. visit and everything and they spend hours looking at law books and websites and and everything like you're saying trying to find out yeah. what what laws they should follow and how to not get into trouble yeah so and they always read in the fine print even like with multiverse laws they won't even read the big print they learn the fine print <laughs> they just basically no attempt to find out about it like jinsing because they don't even allow themselves to be conscious of the fact that they are living inside something that they exist inside of something that con- even to that consciousness to come over one one has to pay some attention yeah 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 beings are not ready to give that 5 minutes even to get to that consciousness and or oh, there are so many people right now on internet and youtube and everywhere they're speaking about all kinds of things and stuff like that mm-hmm. but 
uh, nobody has brought up the simple point. So, yes. which is very surprising that they don't come to the basics and primary of anything. And that's what another thing about the people of this planet, they don't like to come to the core root basics, primaries of any anything. They all like to deal in secondaries and tertiaries. It's, it's almost like they have a phobia of the primary, <laughs> of the root. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then they still want, like, uh, peace, happiness, good things to happen to them. They want all kinds of things to happen to them without like, coming to these primary points, like basic points. It is absurd. Yeah. It really it's a complete absurdity. It is. To think that anything good can happen to you without you knowing multiple laws and then acting by them. If people come up with all kinds of things, you have to do this, you have to wear that metal and you wear that stone, you do this, you do that. <laughs> yeah. But like none of them even even comes up to this point that like beings have to first acknowledge that they are a being first. And they're inside something mm -hmm. and their actions would have consequences. Like, if you come to the point that your actions have consequences, means there are some laws. Mm -hmm. Because consequences cannot happen without some law being present. Do you say? From act between action and consequence, the there's an arrow, and that arrow, the term which is written on top of them is law. Law. Yeah. Yes. And that is the universal multiversal law, not man-made law. Which is people are just made whimsically. To serve their own purposes. Actual, real law, which is immutable and absolute. Which is an absolute law. Like, but beings can even know, never know about the multiple laws that whether they're absolute or anything. Because they never even try to find out about them. And people hate absolutes. The people of this world right now hate absolutes because they because their ego hates absolutes. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. Like, the ego is only happy with like things like, uh, oh, like this doesn't apply to me. Like, <laughs> like there's nothing absolute which can apply. It might apply to some other person, but it won't apply to me. Well, like there's some news for these people. News is that the multiversal laws apply to everyone. There's not a single being to whom well, ego will like would like to think. That things don't apply to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and th that's the thing, like people hate absolutes, and so that's why they don't want to go towards multiversal laws or find out about them because they might actually find out that they are absolute laws and they will apply to them too, <laughs> and they might have to face that, then they have to act responsibly, they will have to act as per those, and that's all way too inconvenient. Not as inconvenient yeah. as hell. Yeah. Yeah, but that will come later, isn't it? Like, once you do the actions, you'll face the consequences. Nobody likes the consequences. Even all these beings out there, when they get the consequences, they're all crying and screaming. There's no one here who doesn't cry and scream when the consequences come. Yeah. When the consequences come, like, who is not screaming and crying out? Yeah. A lot of them even curse the whole God and universe and multiverse and everything too. You know, yeah. That you're mean, you're unfair. And yeah. yeah, it's all against me. Everything is all against me, and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. Really then people are all very ready to blame the outside because it's just a normal ego functioning. And what is ego? But a false sense of knowing. Like when you don't know anything, really, and you think that you know, that is ego. That's all. That is the definition of the ego. Like when you don't know anything, and you are pretending to know. Or you have convinced yourself that you know, without knowing anything, for real. That's that's all ego is. It's not some like special entity which is sitting inside of you, which is coming from somewhere, mm. or like a ghost or demon which has possessed you. Mm. It is your false sense of knowing, and obviously, if you have not bother to find out anything about multiversal laws, then you really don't know anything. That that is that is a given like <laughs> yeah. Knowing the man made laws 
or whatever you learned at school is not knowing at all anyways because it's got nothing to do with multiversal laws. Yes, one brilliant definition of ego. Yeah, but that is something which if you're not bothered to find out about the multiversal laws, then obviously you don't know anything. You don't know anything. And we can't even go into a discussion of what are multiverse laws and like what those are until people even want to find out about it, like James saying. That's the first steps first, like, you know, again, first things first. Of course. Yeah. They have to have a wanting to know these laws. For that, they have to actually admit to the fact that they are inside something. They have to admit to the fact they are actually a being. Mm. And actions have consequences. They are inside something. All these things have to be established first yes. before one can even talk about what multiversal laws are.